Now that I think I understand simple interest, you introduce another way to find interest, compound interest. Can you explain compound interest? When is it used? Is simple interest or compound interest better? Simple interest is usually used for short-term notes whose duration is less than one year. Simple interest includes only interest on the principal. Compound interest, however, includes interest on all the previously accumulated interest. You can earn compound interest by investing in certificate of deposits at banks and savings and loans or in mutual funds that contain bonds and mortgages. Hello, I'm Leanne Spar. In this section, we will be discussing interest-bearing bank accounts and inflation. Specifically, we will cover the following topics. We will define past book savings and other interest-bearing accounts. We will find interest compounded daily. We will define time deposit accounts, define inflation and the consumer price index, and we will examine the effect of inflation on spendable income. Passbook accounts and savings accounts are offered by banks and credit unions and can be a safe place to deposit money. Now let's look at an example involving a savings account. The manager of Quick Printing Incorporated is trying to get the most out of his assets, including cash that has been sitting in a checking account that does not pay interest. He opened a savings account with a deposit of $8,765 on January 4th. On February 11th, he deposited $936. Then on March 21st, he deposited a tax refund check for $650. Find the balance on March 31st and the interest earned through that date if the account earns 3.5% compounded daily. First, let's find the number of days between January 4th and March 31st. And we'll see that that is 86 days. We would find the interest on $8,765 for 86 days at 3.5% compounded daily. The way we will do that is we will consult the table, which is the values for 3.5% compounded daily. You will see that it gives the value of 3.5% compounded daily for the number of days from one day to 90 days. So we read down our columns here until we find 86 days, and here is the value, 3.5% compounded daily for 86 days, is 1.008280273. So the interest is $8,765 for 86 days, so we multiply it times 1.008280273. 0273, which is $8,837.58. Now, we find the number of days from February 11th to March 31st. And we find that to be 48 days. He deposited $936, so we find the interest on $936 for 48 days. Similarly, we find that factor from our table. So we look down the column until we find 48 days, and we find the factor to be 1.00461327. So we multiply 936 times 1.00461327 to obtain $940.30.